Welcome to the kickoff show for Money in the Bank, where in just a few moments, Trey will defend his Universal Championship against Braun Strowman in an empty arena match. Trey's been bailed out these past few weeks by Samoa Joe, but that will not happen again tonight. He's going to have to win this match on his own, which I don't see happening. The deck is certainly stacked against Trey like it has never been before. The following contest is an empty arena match and is for the WWE Universal Championship. Huge match here, guys, as the Universal Championship will be defended here tonight. And ever since Finn Balor was crowned the first ever champ in August of 2016, the Universal Championship has been one of the most sought-after titles in all of sports entertainment. Corey, some people are saying the champ will make short work of his opposition here. Are you expecting the same outcome? That's just ludicrous, Cole. I realize the champ is impressive in the ring, but come on. Now, if he was in there with somebody like Saxton, then yes, I'd agree with that. But he's not. The monster among men is here! Strowman's an absolute force of nature, terrifyingly powerful. Yeah, think about what Braun Strowman has accomplished. He holds the record for the most eliminations in a single elimination chamber match with five. What about the time Strowman outlasted 49 other superstars to win the greatest Royal Rumble match, the biggest in WWE history? Introducing the challenger. Weighing in at 385 pounds, Braun Strowman! And introducing the champion from Greensboro, North Carolina, weighing in at 259 pounds. He is the WWE Universal Champion, Mr. Wilson! This is always a match with enormous implications for the landscape of the entire WWE. This capacity crowd is waiting with bated breath. The Universal Championship, it doesn't get bigger than this. 
We're so accustomed to the presence of the WWE Universe that there's almost an eerie silence in the arena right now. Well, you have to wonder if that will affect either superstar. Playing off the energy of the crowd could sometimes be a huge momentum boost. Well, I really don't think it's going to matter. It's kind of like that old saying. If Trey gets his ass kicked in an arena and no one's around to see it, did it still happen? Yes. Yes, it did. That was really deep, Corey. He's executing on his plan perfectly. Yeah, he's digging deep and showing great energy. Wow. Oh, man, vicious elbows. That will get your attention. Oh, oh. man, inverted backbreaker. Ow. Nice monkey flip. Braun Strowman doing a great job of turning that around. <laughs> you like that? Yep. Anticipated that attack perfectly. Braun Strowman faltering some. He had to be prepared to take some damage tonight. In matches like this, guys, you learn very quickly which superstars have what it takes to truly get extreme. Back in the ring now. A oh, striking blow. Can I get over? Boom! Oh, beautiful. Really just laying it in. Whoa, Strowman dodged that one. Oh, left right to the liver. Looking helpless right now. What on earth is coming next? Face first. Championship on the line. I feel a little silly asking this, given that there is probably no good answer, but Corey, how do you beat Braun Strowman? Well, you're right, Cole. That is a silly question because there's no blueprint when it comes to defeating a monster like Braun Strowman. The best advice I would give, I guess, is try to chop him down to size. Oh, that's how you establish dominance. Oh, solid contact there. The challenger is not in a great place. Things are not looking good for him right now. Oh, Corey, he unloaded there. No, another reversal. Neither one of them are willing to give an inch here. Byron, Corey suggests trying to chop Braun Strowman down to size as a possible strategy against the Monster Among Men. What do you think? Would that strategy work against Strowman? Well, it's certainly worth a shot. If you take out Strowman's legs, then it becomes a mat game. I mean, you're probably going to get crushed, but maybe not as badly. They get dangerous out here, especially when there are no countouts. Nice right hand. The championship hanging in the balance. Working on the leg. Monkey flip. Great match here, but if you missed any of the action from this week, just go to WWE's Facebook page, YouTube channel, Twitter, and more to get all caught up. The champ comes into this match incredibly motivated, though all... <gasps> Trey's giving it everything he's got to take down the monster among men. Braun with a power slam. Hold on, it's Samoa Joe. He was hiding underneath the ring. Braun just snapped that back like it was nothing. Roman counters with a boot to the face. Here's the cover on Trey. Two. It's over. Braun Strowman is your new Universal Champion. Finally, someone else caught a break for a change. And Samoa Joe is now realizing uh, what transpired. And he is uh, not happy, to say the least.
I'm sorry about your title, but there's no shame in losing to Braun, especially with how it went down. I'm not that upset about losing the Universal Championship. Even though my run was short, it was memorable. I'm more disappointed that my time on Raw has come to an end. What do you want? You couldn't hang on to the title just a little bit longer, so I could take it from you. And whose fault is that? I did everything I could to preserve my rematch. But it wasn't enough. Title or no title, I'm still going to choke you out. Let's do this. Hey, that's enough! Come on now. Mm. Hey, take it easy. I've had enough of you these past few weeks. Not only did you lose the Universal title to someone who wasn't even a Raw superstar, but then you went to the extreme lengths to interfere in multiple championship matches, so you've left me with no other choice. You're fired! This isn't over. Because the moment you feel safe and stop looking over your shoulder, I'll be back to destroy you. Make sure he leaves immediately! I spoke to the doctor. He thinks you'll be fine to compete next week. Oh? Okay. I'll, uh, I'll let NXT know. No. I meant on Raw. I've decided to give you a permanent contract. Really? Why? I know I've been hard on you, but I do see some potential. Your in-ring skills need work, but you can be entertaining at times. Oh, see? That's what I've been saying all these years. I put the entertainment in sports entertainment. I'm gonna leave before you say anything else that makes me regret my decision. Thanks, Vipes. I can call you that now, right? No. I'm happy for you. This is pretty awesome. I have officially arrived. Yeah, you got the spotlight now. No more being indiscreto. <laughs> well, I'm ready for people to know who I am. And hey, now that I'm going to be on TV every week, maybe even my real parents will see me. I should start leaving tickets for them at every big event, you know, just in case they show up. And this is all thanks to you. Yeah, well, <laughs> I can't take credit for everything. Now there's only one thing left to do tonight. We go out there and win the Money in the Bank ladder match. We? I appreciate the support, but I need to do this on my own. You sure? With Selena Vega in the match, there's a good chance Andrade will get involved at some point. Maybe. So, how about you stay back here, and if Andrade does interfere, then you take him out. Deal? Deal. I got your back. The package deal is together again on Raw. Already got one contract, about to get another. Might even meet my real parents soon. All of our dreams are coming true. <gasps> well, I guess now that I'm all alone, I can properly celebrate. <clears throat> I got a raw contract. The ink's dry so they can't give it back. I got a raw contract. I'm kinda hungry, I need a snack. Yeah! I got a raw contract. I got a raw contract. I think I left my phone in. You're the worst. I got a raw contract. I got a- Hey! No matter how hard I hit her, which was pretty hard. You see my parents out there anywhere? I don't think so. Not that I'd know what they'd look like. I always pictured them looking like me, but older. And in my mom's case, more female -ier. All these years of leaving them tickets after I was signed to Raw, just hoping they'd see me on TV and show up. And now tonight, they finally will. It's unbelievable. It really is. They always had each other's backs, and... 
That was certainly the case when I faced off against Red in a Money in the Bank ladder match.